CEO y presidente de Atom Energy de Reino Unido, para compartir con nosotros este caso de éxito. Bienvenido, Peter. I'm sorry, I have to speak in English. Uh, I can give you my restaurant Spanish, but that won't do you any good. So I hope you understand, and I will try to speak slowly. Atom Energy is part of Atom Energy Group, which is a company, an international green hydrogen and ammonia company, listed on the London Stock Exchange. That's the introduction. I would not be here without the insight and the foresight of two sets of people. The first is the government, the ministers, Ande, Itaipu. I wouldn't be here without their foresight. But I would not be here without the foresight of the people who went before them, who actually created the second largest hydroelectric dam in the world by output. I first came here in 2014. I confess, I'm an oil and gas engineer. We tried to find oil in Paraguay, and people were right. <laughs> We didn't find any commercial oil. We're still trying on my other companies. But many people said, Paraguay, what happened to Paraguay? You have Argentina, you have Brazil, you have Bolivia, all with oil and gas. Yet Paraguay has no of hydrocarbons. But now is Paraguay's time. The people who created and the foresight they created Itaipu could never have imagined the lights going out all over Europe. The fertilizer plants in Europe and elsewhere being closed because of the high cost of gas. The reliance not just on Morocco and Russia, but the reliance on China for imports. Brazil imports 85% of its fertilizers. And so do we here. I am proud to be an adopted Paraguayan. We, as Atom, are a hydrogen and ammonia green producer. But we deal principally in protecting the environment. We are a future business for the future of Paraguay, but also for energy and food security. Nowhere in the world where I have been have we been able to progress major projects so quickly with such assistance from the authorities. This is truly a country where if you act, not just talk, where you act, then people will support you. And we are deeply grateful for all of the people who have supported us and are supporting us. We are a foreign company, but foreign companies must respect the country they're in. And we have a tremendous president of Atom Paraguay, Jim Spalding, who's here now. Jim was the former general director from Paraguay of Itaipu. Our business is split into two. Our business has a mobility division. And as Felix Sosa has said, next year, with our electrolyzer already on order, we will be producing hydrogen for transport, bringing in hydrogen vehicles into this country. 
Hydrogen is the only solution for long, heavy transport, whether it's buses or whether it's trucks. Mm -hmm. The government and the president have said they want to decarbonize. Hydrogen is the only real solution for long transport. And we have no railways. It's either barge or truck. And then as to barges, we here have the third largest barge fleet in the world. And soon, they will start to decarbonize. Using hydrogen created here, not just with us, but with others as well. And that is something which is really important. That's one division. It's called mobility, transport. Our industrial division relates to producing hydrogen for industry and ammonia for industry and fertilizers. But what has been said before by what we call IDB, you call BID, what has been said before is so important. We look at the domestic economy first to reduce its reliance on importing from certain countries that you would prefer not to import from and who use their exports as a weapon in this world. And what we want to do is create independence for the first time for Paraguay in its fertilizer business and in its power business. And that already is taking place. We've signed the first power purchase agreement with Ande. It's a binding contract. This is not an MOU. This is a binding contract. And we are now progressing to the engineering. And as Felix Sosa has said, in the beginning of 2025, we will pr be producing industrial scale hydrogen and through hydrogen ammonia. We're a business, but rarely in business do you get the opportunity, not just to make profits for your stakeholders, but to change the history of a country. And that is what myself, and I'm sure my colleagues here on my left, want to do. Thank you very much. Well,